episode of Roll Charisma. I'm Shannon. I am Steven. And we are your hosts for the evening. <laughs> uh, we are very excited because we have our very own magnificent Nora as a as a dean on our show for tonight. So we are very excited that they are here. It's been a long time coming because uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they've been busy uh, because they're so popular. Life. And <laughs> yeah, so we have finally... <laughs> finally been able to get book this a class guest so we're very excited about that um and then we have the full spiel this week we're gonna have jackal doing his recap thing and uh mcsherry and hey doyle doing their news so it's like all yes we're all here which is cool mm -hmm. all um, of the things all of the things i love all the things i love things don't you love things things are the great. best yeah um, They're better than non-things. That's true. I mean, I'm sure there's some non-things that are good, too. I like nonsense. <gasps> you know, that's a plus. Okay, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know where that's going. I think <laughs> both, just to warn you, both Steven and I are tired. It's been a long day. We're delirious. So please, please don't hold us responsible for anything that comes out of our mouths. Our reactions and delirium coming up next. Oh, Yes. So... On to that point, Tyson, go ahead and roll the footage and we're going to react to some apparently very strange things. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Is that copyrighted? I don't know. I said it last time, remember? I, oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Oh, Looks hello. like Andy Samberg. Oh, no. Oh! No! No, no! no. What are they doing? Oh no! What, what country is this? Is this, is this a real commercial? Where does this happen? She's all, hey! Ah. No! Oh no! <laughs> Where the no. hell did you find this? <laughs> no! no. He wants her nipples to be erect too. I guess so. But they can't show that on TV. Like, hey, I'm gonna give her a Mentos. Yeah. Um, that was what almost was that? as bizarre as some Skittles commercials I've seen. That is true. Yeah, but I mean, they were tech, like they were dexterous. Like he had, what is that when you, you articulating nipples? Yeah, like straight up new appendages. Yeah, like he used them to. To I'm go to so, the elevator. At first, I thought his nipples were just getting boners, but then he could like yep. use them. Well, so that was I kind of was like, okay, so this is just a play on like, okay, it's so cold, your nipples are hard. Like, I sure. get it. I get yeah. it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Every human who has nipples <laughs> gets cold. I was straight up not expecting that. <laughs> no, that was. I'm not sure how I feel now. <laughs> what was Thank that sound? It was fabulous. Twitch. Oh, yes. Thank you for the follow. It was the weird nipples, wasn't it? I mean, could you resist? Anybody. No one, no one could. Obviously. I mean, that whole commercial is about how no one could resist the weird articulating nipples of this man. I would run, just for the record. I, I would be concerned. Actually, I don't know. Like, I mean, like, what if you, would you do a ring, maybe like a ring toss game? Excuse something. Me? I'd be like, <laughs> you at least have to show me something extraordinary before yeah. I run away. Yeah. <laughs> like, do I run or am I interested? See, that's how we got that's how everybody was. Like, I can't, I can't tell. Do I run? Do I hide? I don't know. I would like okay. to see someone DJ with their nipples. I would too, actually. I would be DJ, DJ nipples in the house. Wicker, 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 wicker. 
DJ Nip Slip. DJ Nip Yes. Okay, let's go to the next one. Please. <laughs> A bird? Yeah. Yep. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Yo. Thank it's a porpoise. Know. Is it or is it a dolphin? Well, <laughs> well that's the same. <laughs> I mean, they're... yeah, sort of. Kinda. I mean, I thought it was a shark. It was dolphins. Yeah. That was terrifying, and I thought it was Nessie. <laughs> um, what was it doing, I wonder? Maybe they were just playing? I don't know, but if I saw flailing in the water, and all of a sudden a freaking what is it, a dorsal fin, is that what they're called? Yes. <laughs> just coming at me like a blade? Uh-uh. Well, I'd be the hell out of that water. It's a happy one, because it, it goes like this, and not straight up. That's the shark, like, porpoise, dolphin, shark. Oh, yeah. I just, it was scary. I was terrifying. So, I fun think fact. This looks like a nipple because I watched. Not back to the nipples. Please, I'm no. Run! <laughs> Please, no. I literally have one fear in my life that I can actually think of, and it's the fear of being in deep black water. Like, if you dropped me over the Marianas, the Mariana Trench, and I knew there was seven miles of black, unexplored abyss beneath me, I might just die of a heart attack. So, videos like this freak me out. <laughs> See, I find that exciting, and one of my biggest dreams is to go in an Alvin into the Marianas Trench. So, like, I, I want to go in a little yellow bubble. I would quite literally rather go into orbit or to the moon any day of the week over the ocean. I mean, it's fair. It's it's crushing down there. Uh, we don't know what's down there, Shannon. That's the point, Steven. But the shit gets bigger the deeper you go. We thought it was the opposite, but it's yeah. not. Oh, and then that's because they discovered chemosynthesis, which we didn't even know was a thing when we were in school, kids, by the way. It, yeah. That didn't exist. We thought it was photosynthesizing and cellular respiration, but we did not know chemosynthesis. When you get eaten by a kraken or a damn megalodon. I don't know. You know what? If I got to go... And they got to put something on my epitaph. It's like, oh, heart attack. Oh, you know, lung disease. Oh, whatever. She was a Eating snack. Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> I lived a snack. I died a snack. That's right. <laughs> Speaking of snacks, I see chicken nuggies. Mm. Let me a good nuggie. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a McChicken nugget in Chick fil A sauce. A McChicken Don't nugget. Stop me. Ooh. Why? Well, he, he asked for Why? someone to stop him. I've never had Chick fil A, so I don't know if that's good. It's not. Like, I, 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 I caught Chick fil A. Yeah. I enjoy me like a, a honey mustard chicken nugget. Person. I have a confession. I ate Chick fil A once. <gasps> but. To my defense, I was in San Antonio, San Antonio, Georgia. I was leading a training, and that is what they had catered in. And I had to yeah. be there for 10 hours, and I could not leave, and I was starving. No, that's fair. And, it's and it literally like, yeah. was dry-ass chicken on a dry-ass bun with no condiments and a bunch of pickles. What the fuck? Oh, well, that's not exciting. Screw you, you homo haters and your dry-ass chicken. <laughs> Did you go have a my pillow fight with that motherfucker? <laughs> it's your sin chicken. That's right. You sin chicken. Sin chicken. <laughs> okay, sorry. I don't. I don't know why. <laughs> we're delirious. We told you. I'm sorry. I think we're both drinking coffee instead of booze. This is a double. <laughs> uh, cheers. All right. Let's see what this guy's doing in his backyard. There, I see. I see a little doggy. Yeah, like yeah, oh, there's two little doggies. Oh, oh, I've seen this is. one, I think. I like the dogs. We've got some hound dogs. Oh! Oh! Uh, are the dogs okay? The dog is fine. Look at him scatter. He's okay. just like... Ah. Well, there's two. <laughs> that is... That's no. The other dog went, but I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I know that this is bizarre. Like, I know that generally speaking, one's back oh, you can... does not explode. I think you can see the little dog run. 
Yeah, he runs at the back. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Just okay. checking. Okay, so is, is this there... like, yeah, there's just like methane under your grass methane, or like... Methane, a gas leak? What? That under the yard? I have so many questions. Yeah. Uh... Okay, oh, so we have got great. information. He was apparently trying to uh, get excess fuel that he spilled on the ground, and there was a gas leak under his yard. Wow, also, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Indeed. Also, kids, people watching at home, if you spill gasoline on the ground, don't light it on fire. Don't do that. I mean, <laughs> wash it down with, I, I'm not going to get, you know what? Contact the DEQ in your area to find the proper <laughs> procedure, but I don't think that this is it. This is too much. It's too much. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at him. And those poor dogs. They're hounds. Their ears have got to be ringing. Scarred for life. Yeah. All right, what's next is I just see a blur. 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 A moving blur. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Dude, we've been looking for you everywhere. Can you have to do a bird soon in the morning? Was... Did you just do What? Dude, we've been looking for you everywhere. Can you have to do a bird soon in the morning? No. It's... Yeah. I'm like... I don't know. It was good, but okay. you can tell by the fall. Like, his body doesn't move any angles. It just falls perfect. <laughs> I don't know. I don't Could you know. imagine, though? Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, now. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Uh, uh, I mean, the video editing was good. Uh, I, I I, don't... I, it's, I find that disturbing. Okay. Um, it's too much. I don't want to. too much. Yeah. All right, what's the... Ooh, are those penguins? What is this? What? Oh, it's a. Oh no, it's a. Impensive. A baboon. Oh, we getting it? Like yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, 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 no. <laughs> no, Grandma, no! What you got? Shit nose. <laughs> Talk about brown noses. Look like a wicked bitch. <laughs> oh, oh, look at her just appalled. <laughs> oh, her poor thing. What would you do? I would grab that shit and fling it back. <laughs> Motherfucker. Baboon. That looked like a mangy ass, not cared for baboon. It did. Because I oh, thought no. it was a chimp at first, but then the nose, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know. <laughs> this is a terrible transition! <laughs> <laughs> Did you just smear it on some bread? Okay, well, let's just smear it on some bread. Shit, let's talk about peanut butter on top. I hope it's peanut butter. <laughs> let's go. Oh, I no. Get the chance. My girlfriend just tied me up, got me naked, and rubbed me down in peanut butter. Don't judge me, okay? I'm open minded to stuff. Anyways, I thought she was walking out of the room to change it to something sexy, but she never came back. Like, I don't even know what's going on. There's a Spider Man 2 poster on the wall in here. When did we get that? That's new. I'm just confused as hell. Last naked, covered in peanut butter. Wait, I see a light in the corner. Right over there, it's, there's like a wire running from it. Hang on a second. It's going to the computer. Oh no. Oh, it's a camera. Oh my god. Okay, I lied. We do the peanut butter thing quite frequently. Yeah, and apparently she's running a website here. It says, watch the peanut butter boy get off, $9.99. Dude, what the fuck? I'm worth at least $19.99 and the peanut butter has to bump me up a couple dollars. This is bullshit. I mean, it's right. I drank the rest of my Bud Light seltzer. It was <laughs> no, you're worse. One, too. That's my favorite. This is what my <laughs> teachers were talking about in school when they said you can't handle the real world. Okay, you know what? I'm glad he knows his worth. Yeah, um, it's a lot to digest right there. Yeah, is this a nine one one call? <laughs> yes, apparently it is a nine one one call. So yeah, um, watch the peanut butter boy get off. Watch the peanut butter boy get off. Um, you know, hey, I, I don't think you if it pays the bills. It, well, yeah, but you should be in on it. No consent. <laughs> I guess. But, 
and but yeah no i am proud of him proud of him you know he's obviously this guy he's like you know i'm down with whatever like the peanut butter thing i don't do sticky so that wouldn't work for me but no like, and it like doesn't come off like peanut butter right like it's literally little, yeah my children Ew. get peanut butter on their face and you find it like a week later after five showers like how did it's you get that so thick. yeah it's very it's thick. thick. and <laughs> I don't know. And that's how you get ants, right? Yeah, and yeah. Like, you want ants? That's how you get ants. And then, like, yeah. in the bed without plastic or whatever? Ew. Without plastic? You go, like, all Dexter and, like, put plastic in Yeah, the I mean, I don't want to sleep in a peanut butter bed. Are you going to murder me or get all kinky with Is the peanut butter? Is this a kink bed? room? <laughs> kink room or kink room? You got to explain. No. I don't know. It's a gay room. Double <laughs> ah. one's a unit tasker. All right, what's going on with this little panda? Oh. Dumb, 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 dumb. Dumb, um, dumb, dumb, dumb. Eating some bam. Slap your shit over. Oh, ah. Look at that she look. That. <laughs> Holy shit, <laughs> And made it. First time, and, mom. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I was hoping. Yeah. To... <laughs> With a little munchie, like, damn, do you see that? What the Aww. hell, child? Aw, you get your panda bear dough. Oh, you get your tail to the little panda. Is that Are like still endangered? Yes. Sad day. I think they're I'm gonna do it again. Here we go. Aww. <laughs> what even caused it to do that? I think it like sneeze. <laughs> it, <laughs> it, it just, you know what? So he was having an existential crisis. Okay. Something was going down. <laughs> <laughs> I got oh. back this life. <laughs> oh no. Alright, what is this guy doing here with this? Oh, nope. big snake. I'm gonna grab it by the tail. What That's kind not of a good big idea. Snake. Oh, oh yeah. no, no, no. Watch out, they spit. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh I would say I I'm not like a a snake. I'm not a herpetologist, okay? But uh, I don't think you grab and pull random snakes by the tail. No, not the best idea. Right? Especially if you live in an area where it could very well be a uh, cobra. Yeah. yeah. You know? Definitely. Um, That's not good. And Cobras he, are scary. Yeah. And he had the stick. Like the snake poke yeah, stick. Like, and he's all like, I got a bit. And then he's like, oh, no, nah, I'm just going to put that down. Pull it on. And he's like, oh, shit, a snake I didn't expect. Like, what did you expect, sir? I mean, granted, I live in a place where there's lots of terrifying things that live here, but cobras, black mambas, no. No! I mean, no. Well, and then we live, um, we grew up, rattlesnakes are sure. a thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but, but you know them. You wouldn't pull that one by the tail. No. I know. <laughs> I need to have like a... You talking to me? I'm <laughs> Literally. <laughs> How dare you? Oh my goodness. They're probably one of the most intimidating creatures on planet Earth. Well, that was pretty tall, too, because let's assume that guy's in like an average, we'll say like 5'6 yeah. or 5'7 or something, you know, and that's probably like three feet tall at it, like just just where it's all high, you know? Ew. Ew. Yeah. Ow. No. 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 It's, it's, it's just too much. Too much poisonous. Zedadine has it right, a verified note rope. A note rope, indeed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, 100. I really like them, I just don't, I wouldn't want them that close. And... Sure, I'll look at one if it's like in a box or if it's like being charred and I'm in an audience. Sure. Sure. Pulling it out my shed? Ah, hell no. <laughs> nah. I mean, where do you find, also that you shouldn't watch them being charmed because generally there's drugs involved in those snakes. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. I like to ruin people's fun. Yeah. A lot of the times they defang them, too. Yeah. Which is not, probably not right. Keep them in baskets. Probably not cool. Oh, well. Yeah. What's this oh. guy doing? He looks nice. So much you TikTok, hey, man. Did you know 
that you can drown yourself with just one spin? Hmm. Let's get to it. Well, science has shown that rotating an item will dry it faster compared to shaking it left and right. That's exactly why dogs spin their heads when drying themselves. <laughs> hey, so imagine this. Let's say you're all sweaty now in your white clothes after catching the bus on the way to work. Well, here's a quick way to solve this. Now, you're just gonna need to spin this way, just like that. But quicker now. You ready? Just like. Desert you! We just got Rickroll. <laughs> Damn it, Tyson! No, it's never gonna be out of my head! I get Rickroll so often. I'm just like the Hulk, always angry. I'm always got like Rick Asley in my brain. Just... If you ever go up there and it's like, you know, in the waiting room or something, like all of Stephen King and Dreamcatcher will just be like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm picturing the Beetlejuice waiting room too in your head. Abs that's fine. That works. Yeah. Okay. You know, I've got that makes sense, actually. It's probably more of the aesthetic. Yeah. yeah. That's fair. That's yeah. awesome. Love got that. Yeah, worms up in there, yeah. Um What's going uh, on here? You don't know. Oh. Oh, no. oh. oh, no. oh. 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 I feel like that looked like it was on purpose. Oh, oh. oh she could get her skateboard, apparently. And then, because it's like, well, it that was or... super smart. Oh, <laughs> at least there's water down there. And that now... looks cold. That day does not look like a good day to go no. for a plunge. It is not a swimming day. I mean, her Polar butt's going to be wet right there. Oof, I can feel that. You remember, you remember the feeling of ah. falling backwards off the skateboard onto it. concrete? Like, ooh. Fun fact, me and skateboards don't get along. I know that. That's true. The only thing that is in the water is the human being. <laughs> the so. human being goes, bye. Bye. Even the umbrella landed. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> Look at it's all folded and screwed up. Yeah, it's like, uh, didn't save him any. Uh, I don't know why I keep watching that. Uh, okay. Because it's good times. Is this on ice? A Jeep on ice? A toy Jeep on ice? What's happening? It's gotta be on ice. Yeah. That looks legit, though. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's not a good sound. Uh oh. You know what that sound oh, no. <laughs> It's pretty fun though. Ooh, it sounds creepy. It, it sounds like another planet. I know that exact ice cracky sound. Ah! Me too. Called it, Steven. Yep. You got it. <laughs> that's well, crazy. That's pretty uh, good. Yeah, I, I know that sound from like ice skating on frozen ponds as a wee lad. Mm -hmm. And it's terrifying and you can feel it. <laughs> it goes reverberating out and bounces around like. Uh huh. Yeah, so it's like scary. A, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, not yeah, a... No. Yeah, it's a sound you don't want to hear under yourself in the winter time. <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, that was pretty cool, though, to be that honest. That was really cool. It looked like, fantastic. It did. Like, it reminds me of that one guy, um, he's a photographer, and he gets, like, little, like, action figures, like Star Wars, and he'll put them all out in a battle scene, and he'll take epic pictures of them, and then he adds the lasers in and stuff, and it looks exactly like a still from the movies. It's insane. Well, if you do, I mean, the original, uh, Star Wars, that's pretty much what they did anyway. Yeah, and so he does, like... He'll do like the little explosive fireworks, so there'll be like explosions and sparks flying in the background, and it looks like a total war bat like scene. It's fantastic. Look at yeah. give him a like because he is worth it. Get it. Also, is this a ghosty on a what what are we are we sailing away? What is Sail. what's happening? Sailing takes me. Oh, away. they have fans hooked up, yep. Oh, fuck. Someone's had six beers in one night. Beers in one night. Oh, they racing. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna take the it's shelves out. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Oh, that's oh, no. 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 Oh,
is not going to be happy with you. Did oh, that man die? I think he's okay. Well, he's like he was collapsed. In injured, minorly injured, says the internet. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, who <laughs> raise of hand saw that happening from like the second? I think yeah, you figured out that they were going to be doing what they were. The doing. owner probably walked in that warehouse and was like, "You're really that fucking stupid. You didn't realize like, yeah. hello, yeah, you're fired." Clean the shit up and go. Yeah. I wonder what's in it. Like I don't know. That was heavy duty though. Yeah. That's like the one did you see the one with the, the uh forklift too? And they're like in a huge like Amazon looking warehouse. Yes. <laughs> like, oh my those gosh. Are, those are horrible because I think, you know, like we've we've all done something kind of similar. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. when I was a little kid, I went into the grocery store with my mom, like you do, and they had one of those end cap displays of Kraft macaroni and cheese, and it was like a big tower of Kraft macaroni and cheese. And as you know, and has never changed, I am a flaily talker, and I get overexcited, and I was wandering around, and I knocked over the entire thing, and as it came crumbling down, like I remember that particular feeling. So oh yeah. Watching those, I think, brings that back for all of us. Error. It's like pulling an Eevee in the mummy. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I know. Like, oh no. I and mean, when she's on the ladder, we're all going, oh. oh, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> and then, <laughs> like, oh, girl. Oh, no. It's okay. I saw, I saw a meme the other day, and it's all, my sexual orientation is the cast of the mummy. And it was like pictures of all of them. I was like, oh, yes. I mean, really? Honestly, yeah. I mean, from, mm -hmm. from like, jo even Jonathan, he's like the grifter, you know, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Charming as fuck, right? And then Brendan <laughs> totally. Fraser. Uh, <sighs> you know, such a cutie. Um, um an emo tap. Oh! I know. He may I, I didn't like him, but I did, you know. And Noxuna Moon? Hello! I mean, she's I mean, pretty hot. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty straight and narrow, but... Uh, I'm pretty gay and wide. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Like it's fine. Straight and narrow, gay and wide, whatever. Gay and wide. <laughs> gay and wide. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, every single concept is made up anyway. By so, what's the difference? Um, go ahead, Ty. What roll? Roll it. What? What's? What's happening here? It's the last one before the break. Oh no! Ready? I'm having too yeah, much I fun. Know. Oh, no, you didn't get enough momentum. You did not get enough momentum. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, uh, what, what are you, you going to do? do? <laughs> Swing. Swing, sir. Swing away, girl. Swing. <laughs> pump your leg. Oh, yes, walk on. You think you can walk? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hi. I'm all up. Oh, wow. No, uh, what? Okay, that's a good friend. And also... Wow. Okay. You know, that didn't end how I thought. I thought it was going to snap. <laughs> I, I thought he was going to just like have to drop and let go. But then this guy. Yeah. I love and then this guy's like, hey, I'm just. Hold on. I got you, boo. I like how they're all in the age of coronavirus. where They're like, let's all touch this freaking handle. <laughs> Maybe they're a family unit. Maybe. Also, maybe. maybe it was that tiny little itty bitty brief period in time when vaccinated people got to feel good for a second. Just, just that little so, glimmer. Yeah, <laughs> little glimmer of the end. A little bit of that, little bit of like, oh, like we got our shots. Yeah. We're fully vaccinated. Things are gonna be oh fuck. Yeah, I mean, Delta's like surprise, motherfuckers. <laughs> guess what? You may have gotten yours, but others didn't. And guess who mutated? <laughs> ah! I was just thinking too, like. It would really suck to be like Delta Airlines. I'm surprised that people still ride their airplanes because after the, like, when the pandemic first happened, how people stopped buying Corona because people are silly. Right. Yes. And then they actually did start buying Corona. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That's, yeah. Uh, because I remember distinctly, uh, my sister bought me a Corona and we had a Corona during Corona. And then Sanan, one of our people on our shows uh he also was drinking corona for yeah. a little bit and nicholas and i snapchatted us toasting coronas in the okay. middle of the lockdown and prior <laughs> yeah. to that i only ever had a corona if i went somewhere and that was literally the only beverage to consume Julie. yeah 
Anyway, so I guess we are gonna go ahead and uh, get your um, your 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 news footage and your recap going. Get your news in. It's right. You're gonna get yourself all informed, and then uh, we're gonna come on back after we get you all informed, and we're gonna have Nora on the show. Oh, it's time! Yeah, it's gonna be fantastic. So, well, now you made me go from New York to like, okay, now I feel like I, I'm a New Yorker that's lived in like Wisconsin for too long. Wisconsin, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. then you should go on over there to Minnesota. We'll just get the whole range. Gee golly, gosh, don't you know? I guess I could do that. We go to further North Dakota, if that would be fine. Oh, too. North Dakota. Oh, North Dakota, yeah. We could put our exes <laughs> into, a, into, in, into, a, into a shredder. Anyway, all right, we will see all of you on the flip side when we come back with Nora. Enjoy the stuff that you are about to see. Ta ta. <laughs> no, 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 no. This isn't good. This isn't good. This isn't good. This isn't good. Um. Hey, folks, it's Jackal. Oh, boy. Um, recap word stuff. Uh, right. And before we do, a uh, bit of a message. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, we just really, I do believe they just released the final version of Aether and Steamworks on Drive Through RPG right now. $15. And if this testament to all this fun in games is any sort of indications, I'd highly recommend you give it a look. Anyways. Myocenus. Myocenus Clay and Nova are currently recovering. You see, uh, after everything went reset, um, they uh, wandered for a little time, just settled back in, get to the normal, raise brownie, like, a, you know, your standard nuclear family sort of thing on Myocenus, which explains the sort of nuclear follow thing. Eh, hell if I just sighed. Uh, Apache's still missing, but they managed to find Redmane, who is now currently bleeding out in Nova's bed. Uh, it's pretty normal. Um, everything's going well. They're currently trying to re regain contact with Kaizen, who sent a messenger mecha pigeon. Which brings us over to, uh, Nohu and Kaizen. Nohu and Kaizen are currently pushing their way through an underground bunker of some kind they managed to negotiate the wildlife into helping them open the yeah <laughs> and they find a couple of soldiers just you know chilling out in emory's long since dead uh know who the uh the ever the pathologist licks everything and manages to discover um something else is going on as they soon find out when splitting up they make their way down the hall and find out wouldn't you believe it uh sill and a certain someone else please excuse me a moment Sylvia aside, uh, Kaizen swears themselves to Sylvia, which won't be bad in the long run. I have absolutely no idea what's going on with that. And no hero dives into what appears to be a coolant tank for a nuclear reactor and disappears. But we'll, we'll get to where that is later. Um, Kiara is captive for Aurora, painted lion who has, for all intents and purposes, medical power of attorney over her, and her appearance, and her assets, and her property, and her ownings, and her goldfish. Yep, uh, this is, for all intents and purposes, another hostage situation, which, remind you, Clay is currently working to resolve. I have faith in our, our, our BSing, uh, friend. So... With a little bit of uh, bulwark bubbles, she manages to knock Aurora down a peg. Which is helpful. Which is helpful if, if also including the fact that she's also locked back up inside of her room, Cinderella style, inside of the castle. But wouldn't you know it, her Prince Charming? Paramercenary Charming? A drunken recruit shows up on a panty raid, and she holds him at gunpoint, steals his uniform, and makes a mad run for it. Uh, 
in the process of swatting off, sweating off some of her disguise in front of one of the senior guards. Thankfully, they managed to believe that she or he is in fact drunk. <sighs> when it rains, it pours, folks. All right. Uh, speaking of that, no, who? Guess where they are? Sparrows. <laughs> Uh, it's a Tuesday on the Sparrows as they're currently sitting there and biding their time and... Um, yeah. Red Iron is Red Iron and Amos is Amos and... Clarion is currently working to get Collins out of a jar into a robot body because Sylvia took possession of them. And we're pretty sure that that entire area has been cleaned out, or at the very least the dice tell me that. Now, that said, the Lesrin in charge has apparently taken some sweet time trying to get everything together uh, as we go about our days there. Um... And then things come to a head. Lefe gets attacked. Decompression. Blinded. They're quickly caught. They're rescued. Uh, with some strange tile artifacts and a spare uh, safe tech. Courtesy of Amos. Amos makes short work of the deguiled, guiled up... Uh, Space starfish, which splatters its young all over the deck of the sparrows, which is surprisingly normal considering the situation of an alien overlord that's cross-dimensional and uh, teleporting Kochkin, but that's a story for another time. Anywho, um... Yeah. It, it's, it's thicker than gravy on Thanksgiving evening. And, uh... <laughs> uh, Amos tries to be dad, tries to just reach out to Lefei and just soften things up. Just be, uh, just be a good daddy Lesrin. Give him something to lash out on. Why? I don't, I'm not gonna say. And that's when they return to the deck and find Lefei has brought down the house on the cook. Again. For the third time. I swear the life insurance policy Bicky has, Bicky being the cook, is probably monumental if she is literally getting crushed every other week. At least she looks good doing it. This comes to a head when Amos and Lefe spar off. And that's all I am legally allowed to say. Well, not legally, but I'll, I'll leave you to what happens next. Tune in next week as Nohu bursts out of the oven. As Kaizen deals with Sylvia. As Aurora goes on the run, Sam Fisher style. And as Clay and Nova have a wonderful picnic with Brownie because nothing bad could possibly ever happen. Um... Good luck, by the way, Clay. Uh, sorry, you're gonna get murdered by Nova. What the fuck? Check out. And that's aliens. Wow, I, I had no idea it was a musical. I mean, the Queen Alien has a beautiful soprano. Um, were we watching the same movie, Doyle? Yes. Anyway, um. I love the movie. It was it was great, um, but uh, let's let's talk about some uh, TTRPGs. What do you say? Uh, sure, that seems to be our thing. Yay! Okay, um, the first one uh, I found is a game called The Price of Coal. Oh, and it's a story game about uh, about labor rights, uh, specifically in it takes place uh, about a hundred years ago, just after the um, kind of Spanish flu pandemic. Uh, so it's. What happened then is kind of similar to what's happening now. You know, history repeating itself. It does hit home. Yeah, um, especially with you know the, the, the wages today and you know, suppressed unions and that whole thing. Um, anyway, so in this game, the players get to uh, each get to play two characters. Uh, one's a coal miner, and one's a family member uh, or a loved one of a coal miner. <laughs> I have the black lung, Pa. Oh, ouch. 
the first part of the game is a study of relationships and histories um, uh, between all the characters. So yeah, you have your your loved ones, your family, mm -hmm. um, who do you trust, who you rely on, uh, so on and so forth. Um, and then from there, the players take turns drawing prompt cards and role playing scenes. Interesting. So it could definitely get pretty heavy. Um, I guess it just depends what cards you play and how you play them. And yeah. um, each prompt card has some kind of problem that's come out, come up in the town uh, that you need to work together to address. Okay. So not necessarily monsters, though. It would be interesting if you threw that into a D&D &D campaign. Like, here's a prompt card and... Uh, an army of goats. An army of... Yeah. <laughs> um, so... The, the example that this uh, article I read um, mentioned was like, uh, maybe the schoolhouse has closed. Maybe someone's being evicted. Maybe someone has black lung. Like, how do mm. you address um, that? Maybe there's a cave uh, down in the mines. So very interesting. Uh, the, the artwork is beautiful. Um, and I think there's definitely, like I said, definitely relevance to what's, what's going on today. Um, like I said, with the uh, labor unions and pandemic and no, that's some fun stuff well not, yeah. not fun stuff but stuff stuff um but so you can check that out um it's a uh, 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 the website is uh, enworld.org um we'll put the link up here um there's a whole interview with the uh, creator of it on this uh, website enworld.org that's pretty exciting yeah um but anyway so let's let's go back to uh kind of what we're more comfortable with is uh, monsters. Uh, we do love monsters do on love, this channel. do love the monsters. do love the monsters. Uh, there's a there's a Kickstarter that's uh, upcoming. Um, it's called uh, Level Up. It's Advanced 5th Edition. Oh, wow. Um, it's a, quote, advanced version of 5e with an extra layer of crunch or depth. Um, it's standalone. There's no need for original 5e core rule books. Okay. Um, it's backwards compatible with all the other 5e games that you already, you know, play and know and love mm -hmm. um, but I like this especially because um, there's more it, it focuses more on exploration and storytelling um, there's much more diversity and representation in the core game oh I like that super important um, the authors of the game actually uh, included a, a diverse team they, they had cultural consultants and uh, really tried to make representative content for people of um, have all, all walks uh all that's stripes. extremely important especially in 2021 yeah, as you know absolutely um yeah so um another thing there's 10 destinies for character motivations Ooh. and goals that um again embrace the the game's uh, inspiration mechanic uh mm -hmm. which is pretty cool and um what i was really kind of excited about is uh, 80s distinctive weapons uh you can check them out at www.levelup5e.com uh, they've got a link to the Kickstarter over there if you're interested. Um, and then one last thing, just some random fun news, not necessarily really related to a TTRPG game, but kind of. Um, did you know that Watsi's Magic the Gathering is sponsoring an English football team for the 2021-2022 season? I did not. I didn't know that either, but uh, it's the latent... Color me intrigued. <laughs> it's the latent Orient FC um, and Magic the Gathering logos will be on the team's training wear. Um, the team competes in the EFL League 2. Okay. According to my very in-depth research on Wikipedia, uh, it's the fourth and lowest division of the English Football League. So I think you have, like, the, the, the big leagues that make all the news, like the Premier League or mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. those teams. And then you have Man a bunch U of... and, and things like that. Okay. And then you have a bunch of different divisions, I guess kind of like baseball and football and other sports. You have your, I don't know if it's a minor league or it's just a, it's a smaller division. So anyway. I, I think we should get out there and support that. Yeah. Speaking of getting out there and supporting things, mm -hmm. did you hear that Ether and Steamworks just got re-released on DriveThroughRPG.com? No, I didn't. It's amazing. I definitely think that you oh. and all of our viewers should check that out. Oh, because, wow. Oh, it is beautiful. The new art that Ty has done, mm -hmm. spectacular. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I'm going to uh, grab my wallet right now and uh, go out and just spend my uh, spend my, pay my paycheck on it. I think that sounds good. And, and then some. And rate it. 
Don't forget to rate it. Yes, I gotta rate it. And they they have a they have a Twitch channel, right? Uh, they do. We're actually on the Twitch channel right now. It's oh, roll for chaos. Hey, RF chaos. Hi, everybody. Hey, folks. <laughs> well, this has been fun. Um, thanks again for showing me aliens. Definitely. Are... We'll we'll have to come up with another movie. Maybe yeah. you can show me a movie that I haven't seen yet. Okay. Have you seen Paddington Three? It's the director's cut. I have not, but now I'm going to need to. It's uh, it's extremely violent. Oh. Yeah, so I would love to show you some of my favorite movies, and thank you for showing me your, one of your favorite movies. Oh, of course. And uh, I kind of think we might have something here. You know, I, I kind of think we might, too. <laughs> I'm blushing. <laughs> All right, well... Um, we should probably sign off and probably yeah. and uh throw it back over to you in the station thanks so much bye, bye. hello everyone welcome back we are in the midst of glory our wonderful friend of whom we play with frequently and have fantastic times with is here to spend the hour with us or half an hour that is uh it is a zanadine aka the most wonderful nora welcome to the show <laughs> huzzah <sighs> does that make audience sounds that was a wonderful introduction thank you you're welcome yes. welcome we're so glad you can finally come on the show. I am so glad, too. Uh, my podcast, Cornfields and Kobolds, was recording on Tuesdays for the whole summer, and I could never predictably tell when which weeks were on and which weeks were off. So, I, you know, now that we've moved to Wednesdays for the school year, uh, it's a lot more available, and I'm so Yay! happy to be here. It's, yes! It's my first quasi-official TV, like, uh, interview. <gasps> Oh, we're Ooh. Gonna... yay! It's the first, yay! Well, and this one's fun because uh, it's true. You know, we just have a good time. Ask you all the random important questions that that everyone right. doesn't know that they're dying to know, and uh, we do that. So you have well, a... you better be prepared for in depth answers and uh, places that you weren't sure you wanted to go. Those Perfect. are the favorite places. I want oh. to go to all the places. Let's yes. go. <laughs> all right. Let's do it. Ooh. <laughs> 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 um, I don't know why, which one song you were going for, but like I got like the Madonna. prayer. Yeah. No yes, end and like no prayer. beginning. <laughs> that song's about fellatio, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, there... Just take me to church. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it is. Really, it was a very controversial music video too because they had the Black Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Madonna did, and everyone's like, "Oh." You do you mean the did. accurate Jesus? Well, I mean the the more accurate. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Actually, that was a very good looking Jesus. Uh, in uh, that video. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's sacrilegious to say, but if it is all it is. It's my goodness. Right? Gonna, have to, gonna have to YouTube that shit. I know, right? Oh. We got so much to catch up on. In fact, that was a podcast that me and the Cornfields and Kobolds crew were kicking around before we decided on Cornfields and Kobolds. It was gonna be called Culture Backlog, and we were gonna watch all the movies that, like, at least one of us hadn't seen. But our uh, the guy who does the editing didn't want to edit it because uh, he's like, "Well, you do it. I'm not in the podcast." And I'm like, "Well, I don't know how." I don't want it. That's hard. <laughs> Editing is hard. No, even if you know how to I do, do it. I do. I do need to learn how to edit, though. Yeah. Because I, I have things I want to do. Well, you could practice, and you could watch Silence of the Lambs, and then edit Boom. that. We already yeah. have the first show. It, it's easy to do little clip edits, like YouTube videos. We well, you kind of have yeah. to, right? Because you can only yeah. play like a certain amount of a movie at any particular time, so it's not copyright. That's copyright. true. Yeah. Uh, the oh, voice yes, from the sky you, said he would he would help you if, if you need help. <laughs> the razor blade tool, best friend ever. <laughs> that kind of made me go. Like, in editing, editing. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but at first I'm just like, whoop, like, oh wait, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Calm down, Shannon, it's fine. Um, oh, let's start rolling a die. <laughs> die. <laughs> Yeah, I've got my oh tiny gosh. dice right here. <laughs> Look at how cute that is. It's from a wormwood set. It's so pretty. Yeah. Oh, 
Ooh, Warm one has uh, like a cool thing. I'm gonna get one of the mm -hmm. Warmoon people on here. Like, give us stuff. That would be amazing. Right? <laughs> I'm sure they get requests all the time. That's true. For that but reason. Not from us. Let's be like, Oh, of course. You are the hottest interview yeah. in TTRPGs. Obvi. Hello. I mean, if we <laughs> Hello. It, it, by politician standards or any kind of thing, like if we just say it as many, like enough, it will be then true, correct? Exactly. Because, yeah. 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 It's the fake it to make it. That's how challenge. the world like, works. Yeah. This is how the world works. <laughs> okay. Roll that die. Roll it. Let's oh, get me. on the roll. Yes. 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 yes I'm 12. All right, I'll I'll start first. So, if you could have the ta uh, the power of teleportation right now, where would you go and why? Ty, we can hear you. <laughs> Ty was singing. Ty was I got uh, him singing Bo Burnham. <laughs> <laughs> so, teleportation. I would go visit my friend Kelsey and Bruce because Kelsey is a crew member on Cornfields and Kobolds that I haven't actually met in person and haven't had a chance to because uh, they and their husband live in Oregon. So I would visit them and then I would go visit you. And then yeah, I would go awesome. visit all of my other friends that I haven't seen in, in, in years. Mm -hmm. uh, and then um, after I finish visiting all my friends and going to cool parks and stuff, I would put together a uh, uh, an airtight uh, box and teleport me and that to the moon. Right. Yes, <gasps> that'd be fun. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then you might as well keep going, like go to Mars and yeah, like, 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 yeah. just like, take a selfie on every planet. Yeah. Proxy Centauri. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Oh my gosh! Yeah. I, I think I, it I paid think. so much to take scientific instruments to different planets. Yes, yeah. you could. You would. <laughs> Make Unless they money. lock you in a room and experiment on you. <laughs> I wouldn't let them. I'd teleport out. I was going to say, they could just teleport. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, be amaze balls. Let's roll another. I like, I like how you not only like, took that and explored with it, but also monetized it. Like, I I respect <laughs> that. <laughs> yes. Thank you. You got you to gotta stay on that hustle. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> God, Steven. Oh, ah. What fictional family would you be a member of, and why? Oh, goodness. Um, fictional family. Sometimes it feels like my family is the Weasley family. Like, just loud and best. big and all over the place. Great family. Although, I can tell you right now, my mom would definitely be jealous of Mrs. Weasley's ability to do the do dishes with magic. Oh, Although, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me too. Uh, but... Ah, oh, gosh. I, hmm. The family from uh, Shameless, also a little bit. <laughs> I've only catch, caught catched, caught some of that show. I haven't watched yeah. every episode. Like, the Gallagher's. Like, yeah, the Gallagher's. <laughs> like a little dysfunctional. Well, not quite as dysfunctional as the Gallagher's. Like none of us are, you know, drug addicts. But yeah, you know, you know, you, you win some, you lose some. Right. True. It can be dysfunctional. Sans drug addiction, you know. Yeah. True. Yeah. yeah. But like good dysfunctional. We love each other dysfunctional. Right. Yeah. Hell yeah. A, a functional dysfunctional family. Exactly. A functional yeah. Dysfunction a dysfunctionally functional family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or functionally dysfunctional? Sure. Whichever way. way you want to. Mm -hmm. Like, like the sparrows. <laughs> <laughs> yes. True that. Like that. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. We're all going to. Little bit of that. Go ahead. Oh. And one. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Fifteen. Beatboxing. If you could, uh, if you were invisible for a day, what would you do? Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't know. Try and break into places. Sure. Like who Why can not? see me? Like where steal, would you steal money? Is there a place you've always wanted to like? get into that oh gosh if i if i could plan for it i would just like take my own private tour of the white house maybe yeah. mm -hmm. white um, house would be good i always thought the vatican yeah the archives yeah, yeah the that archives would be interesting the yeah see what's really going on in there <laughs> 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 yep
That's uh, obviously what's going on. Just, oh, 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 is that Mario's pipes were under the Vatican? Is that yeah. the floor? Yeah, 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 exactly. So I think it'd be really, that's all that's down there. It's little like mushroom Goombas, you know, like walking around sideways. So they're See, really down there. I don't know. Maybe I'd, maybe I'd go be on the set of like some show, like t the Today Show and just like mess their stuff up. Oh, oh my gosh, yeah. Pretend you're a poltergeist. Uh-huh. <laughs> that would be fun. Um, it would be, not gonna lie. And I can't think of anyone particular that I'd want to do that to right this minute, but I feel like keeping that in my back pocket just in case yes. would be, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah just pick you the right become opportunity. huge yeah. famous on YouTube by making videos, just set up a camera to record and go in and just fuck up a room really bad. <laughs> <laughs> That, millions of views that would be a huge conflict for me though because i really hate the ghost hunters type of shows because i'm just oh. like but that's not science that's not <laughs> the science well even right. more fun you could do all of that get those ghost hunter people rolling that it's all true and real and then yeah. go like surprise <laughs> fuck you actually 24 out, hours though. are over it was me the whole time <laughs> <laughs> that's right now get some science <laughs> Okay, so oh gosh. let's go roll another one, and then okay. we'll start lightning ging ging. More time. Okay, one more seven. Ooh. Seven. If you could time travel back to childhood and give yourself one piece of advice, what would it be? Uh, get diagnosed. No. <laughs> uh, because uh, knowing that I have a mental health issue, then that that started appearing like right around like fifth, sixth grade. Like, going back and telling myself, yes, you need therapy and your life will be better once you have better ways to cope than, like, slamming yourself in the forehead with a binder, which is something I did to myself in sixth grade, you know? Like, mm -hmm. you know, like, just, just being like, yeah, the therapist that you meet in high school will not be good enough. Like, get an official diagnosis. Like, because I, yeah. I didn't get that until college and I wasn't able to start building my toolkit until then. Yep. That's well, awesome. If, if I could give myself two stuff. pieces of advice, though, the other one would be uh, invest in Apple, maybe? Right. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know? Yes. While Bitcoin. you're it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. But thank you for being no, that just, voice, just, because that's something that needs to be heard by, like, yes. that's important. I would hand 10-year-old ten my ten year old me a log of what's going to happen in the next 20 years and then just make tons of money predicting the future. Yeah. Like Back to the Future when they have the... Where you make fly with the almanac. Yeah. yeah. Oh, another movie I haven't seen all the way through. <laughs> there you go. Well, I, you've got a list. I'm sure I've caught... No, I really... Well, that was like, like the... Just name a movie. That's the second one. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I do one. have a list. Yeah. Make you should. I mean, that's actually... I kind of am jealous of folks that have not watch movies because we do have one of the questions on here is like what movie would mm -hmm. you watch the first so there are so many that like mm -hmm. i watched before i was even conscious of watching things you know like as a small child so i don't remember the first time i watched it but it's my favorite movie yeah yeah you know, that kind of so i'm really i think you're in a good position because you still have all of that to watch yep I, but i don't have the patience to sit down and just like watch something unless it's like anime <laughs> fair, fair enough <laughs> Any we'll more. just convert every movie into an anime story for you then <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah dub it in japanese and then sub it again yep yes I'll watch it then no <laughs> i would be uh, actually that might be a really fun bit to go through because you know how like it always translates wrong so you yeah that one translated translate it back and then see what it like says Not actually did we just strike gold because i feel like we might have <laughs> maybe Okay, well, royalties, uh, just right. uh, send it to my PayPal. Nora's like, oh, yeah, right. I was right at the birthing of this, okay? <laughs> All right. 5%. Yeah, five. Five. <laughs> Five's fine. I mean, we're not stingy. Well, I'm not. Steven is a miser. So. No, you are all wow. very generous. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh never, never try to get Steven to pay for something for me. I know, gone. Whoa. This year, I got my aunt to pay for my nails. I know. God, hey, hey. He, he works really hard for his aunt, and she should probably buy him a whole house. So, uh, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> Julie. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to start at um, number 22 for Nora. 
22. Okay. Is this a lightning round? This is yes, a lightning it is. round. We're coming at you. I can't get <clears throat> to you. We'll be at all fast. We are absolutely happy with tangents as we are tangenty people. Shush, producer. So it begins. Name one of the seven dwarfs. Uh, Sleepy. Boom. Feel that one. Uh, would yeah. you want to? Would you want to live forever? Yes. I favorite can travel the galaxy. Favorite beverage. Uh, yes. Water. <laughs> I mean, it, like it's the one I drink the most. But like Dr Pepper, if I'm mm, at a restaurant, like iced tea with raspberry. Mm. Ooh, yes. Love That's all also those. good. Yeah. Uh, what is your biggest pet peeve? Oh gosh. Uh. Hmm. When 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 somebody's got like long fingernails and they're like messing with them. <gasps> Me too. N not even long fingernails. I cannot handle the clicking. Yeah. It makes me go. <laughs> you can ask Ty. He'll be like <laughs> two feet away from me on the couch. Just kind of like doing his thing. Click, click, click. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I couldn't hear that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not on purpose. I feel that. I, I just feel like I just got a little heart string. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my, oh, my gosh. That's too much. What? Uh, I have not. Oh, there it is. How many cups of coffee do you drink per day? I don't do cups of coffee. I do shots of espresso, and usually it's just Love one that. because I work at a coffee shop and they give me one for free. Nice. Hell yeah. I uh, introduced Stephen when he came to visit to an affogato. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. And yeah. Yeah. He kept oh. yeah. an avocado, but. Well, I usually like do, do a double. So, like, what's two, what normally is two shots, but one is decaf. Uh, so you get the coffee flavor, and then I do like a mocha, and then like whatever flavors strike me that are good that day, Ooh, with uh, yes. uh, non-dairy milk, because ah, I'm yum. lactose intolerant. Yeah, I'm allergic. And I'll uh, suffer for my ice cream anyway. Right. I I do. I do. It's I worth it. I used to be completely like not have any problems with dairy, and then uh, I like hit thirty, and my stomach's like, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, fine. I guess I'll go to lactose free. But ice if cream, I must. you cannot fuck with ice cream. It will be whole dairy cream, and yeah. that is yeah. what I want. Oh, that's yeah, about, yeah, That's good stuff. Mm -hmm. I do like non-dairy ice creams when they're, like, nicely blended, though. Like, not too hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's some good ones. There's some good ones. Ben and Jerry's, um, their dairy-free is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. So is, uh, yeah. Bri well, I guess Briar's is just lactose-free, but it's really good, too. Well, oh. there you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like Ben and Jerry's though. You support Ben and Jerry's because Ben and Jerry are nice guys. They are. They're just nice guys. They're just nice guys. They like giving money to people who are nice guys. I'm also like I'm vamping because oh, if you had a band, what would the name be? Uh, I've come up with so many band names. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a list though. That's the thing. And like it, it's it's like it's like if you when you're naming your your role playing game party, like your 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 adventuring party, like it's it's gonna be a collaboration. So like mm -hmm. I don't have a name set. But uh, there was a book title that I came across once. It was um, The Haunted Vagina. Oh. Ooh. And it had like a phrase in it. And my sisters and I were like, uh, that's a band name <laughs> now. But I unfortunately, it was several months ago. So I can't remember what the phrase was. Can I, I just. Go ahead. I heard a slogan in my mind when you said The Haunted Vagina was all, you can come in, but you won't come out. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> That's kind of uh, what the story was, actually. I was going to ask. Uh, I like, did let's read the book. It was a novella. Question. It okay. was a uh, like it was a Amazon digital publication, and it was like quasi smut, but also like just weird. Think for the like, guests. Just okay. weird. It, <laughs> and, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure how explicit you want me to be, but it's I, awesome. No, I mean, it, hey, we're making the M for mature. You do you. That's true. I, I oh, mean, are we? We are, yeah. technically. Mm -hmm. uh, so it starts with uh, a guy and a girl having sex, and then a skeleton crawls out of her pussy. Oh. Like a full-size skeleton? Yeah, yeah. Just what like a full human-size skeleton, and it, it like, like the vagina expands, and then, you know. her skeleton? No, no. So it turns out she's got a whole little universe inside there. 
Oh. And then when she conceives, the universe goes inside her daughter. So, like, oh. her boyfriend crawls in to check out why the skeleton came out. Okay. And then he finds out and he tells her, but she cheats on him with another guy and gets oh. pregnant. So he's just oh. stuck in there. Just Until stuck in there. Time. Yeah. Yep. This kind so of reminds me, have you ever... Him while he was in her womb universe? Um, only uh. if he sticks his ear to, like, a hole, a wet hole in a cliff. Okay. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Very weird. Like I said, and I kind of oh, regret yeah. reading it. Right then. Sorry, Nat 20 Adventures. We have oh. a like, strange conversation that involves yeah. a book. So I know. I know. About literature. Uh, yeah. Um, it was, a weird uh, little book. Yeah. Um, and moving on. Uh, it was very like American Gods, if you've ever seen that show. There's a similar character. I so. did read the book to that. Okay, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Although that disturbs me now that there's a a character with a haunted vagina in American God. Well, she's like an ancient African god, and then she has oh. sex parties, and then she absorbs them through her vagina, and basically, like, it okay, gives her yes, benefits okay, and, like, I the can power and stuff. Okay, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a through line there. If she... <laughs> I'm just trying to think. I'm like, how, how many... It, I, you know, like, there's, like, the hero's <laughs> journey, and there's, like, you know, like, origin stories, and there's, you know, like, there's this whole through tropes of things. I did yeah. not know yeah, well, yeah. about this, like, hungry vagina trope. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, God, I bet there's a TV tropes page. Totally. And she was kind of scary, too, because she'd make them, like, worship her. While having sex with them, and then they'd be like, "Oh yeah, oh I worship you, I'm all yours." And then she'd just be like, <laughs> <laughs> yep. "Yep." Moving on. Totally. <laughs> Next topic. Um, it's yours. Twenty eight. There, Steven. What's your favorite carnival food? Transition. Uh, funnel cakes. Funnel cakes yes. are good. Yes. I also Delicious. really love carnival lemonade. Yeah. Ooh yeah, so good. Mm. Um, uh, mm. I love lemonade. Um, would you eat a day old taquito from 7 Eleven? Yeah, I mean, provided that, like, I bought it yesterday and it hasn't been sneezed on for 24 hours. Sure, like, you knew where yeah. Yeah. The, the history of the taquito. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, they've just been sitting on my table for 24 hours. Sure. Why not? Why not? Yeah. I just throw it in the air fryer. Brand new again. Exactly. Um, <laughs> John a miracle Chalmers? piece of equipment. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> also, we, Sherry has mentioned this before but uh deep fried dr pepper oh, oh yeah i've never heard of that yeah it's she's obsessed i well, think i'm gonna try that because nora previously said dr pepper mm -hmm, was their mm -hmm. favorite drink so like boom. i if married the two happens, could you snapchat it i want to see the reaction yeah <laughs> it turns us all into voyeurs it's like i want to see you eat this food right. it's not Would weird eat I just right you eat it. yeah <laughs> Uh, it used to be weird, you know? Can you be like, can you take a picture of me eating your eating food? Oh, thank you so that. much. Yeah, thank you for that picture. <laughs> now it's okay. Hashtag normalize it. Oh my Lanta. Dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Dark. I am a dark chocolate person. Mm, yes. Dark chocolate with mint, dark chocolate with caramel. Raspberry. Oh. Raspberry's good. Yep. Uh quick! Say something cool. That's have... rad, dude. Tubular. Yes. Check it out. Let's <laughs> serve those yes. waves. Let's let's send it. Yeah. Like uh, righteous. Actually, <laughs> at work sometimes me? when I toss like the towel over to the sink, I'll be like, "Yeet!" And then if I get a good shot, Kobe. Nice. <laughs> yes. I feel like that's my my highlight, my cool that's your, moment. There you the, go. The epitome of your cool. Yeah, pretty <laughs> that's much. Pretty cool. Um, uh, how how would you rate your karaoke skills on a scale of one to Mariah Carey? Jeez. Okay, so I've only ever done karaoke once, and I was super nervous when I did it, and a little buzzed because it was like my first time like publicly drinking with my sisters. Uh -huh. Um, and I got super tight in the throat, and I didn't do the song as much justice as I want. But I feel like if I were to do karaoke again, probably better. Because now I have like a couple songs picked out that I know and I can just belt out and I've been practicing at work when they come on the radio and I want to dance with somebody. Yeah. I want to yeah. feel the heat with somebody. Yeah, they're going to cancel and 
claim this. So I better stop singing. <laughs> yeah. That was clippable. I love that. Love it. I mean, it's clippable. Uh, <laughs> that was pretty good. Thank I don't know. you. Um, my lack of karaoke skills is not my um, like ability to sing or perform in front of people. Because give me a microphone. I mean, Steven's the same way. Give us either yeah. one of us a microphone, yeah. and we're like, oh my god. But my ability to sing is what limits me. I am not. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, my mom put me in church choir from a very young age, and then I was in the high school choir. And then I oh. did a lot of singing and music studying, and uh, and uh, people tell me I have an okay voice, like a pretty good voice, actually, a lot. Uh, Hells, yeah. So I mean, yeah. I'm... I'm happy to sing. Um, there may be a few clips of me singing that have made it into cornfields and kobolds past Devin's anti-fun sensor. I love Devin. He does a lot of very hard work. I just, you know, I play <laughs> a bard. Sensor. <laughs> I play a bard. So you gotta let the bard sing sometimes. It's true. It's, true. it's kind of a bard thing. Their job. <laughs> yeah. Um, using an Elmo voice. Well, actually, you already did this earlier, but using an Elmo voice, tell me how you like your coffee. Mm -hmm. Um, oh god, oh, wow. I gotta remember what Elmo sounds like. Honestly, um, a bad Elmo voice is more entertaining than a good one, anyway. So don't worry about yeah. it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I love my coffee with uh, as a mocha with a uh, half cap and pea milk and caramel and 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 chocolate. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Uh, I, can I address the whole pea milk situation? It sounds really weird so until bad. you get into it. Yeah. And it's good. I've it's actually fucking delicious. It. Yeah. Like Ripple, I've had the. Mm -hmm. the That's the brand we use. Yeah. And it's good. But it's like, and then you can't say, no matter what you say, pea milk, pea juice, you know, right. pea anything. It's like P E A. I'm going to, I'm going to milk the, the peas, tiny udders. Milk the peas. Or pea, uh, pea milk, and then it's like, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it is. It's, 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 it is milk. Like it does the same things milk does, and at least milky. for coffee. Yeah. So it's actually pretty good. It's just yeah, and healthy, actually. Yeah. I think it's one of yeah. the healthier milk alternatives. Mm -hmm. But pea milk. Uh, Somebody uh, marketing. Good well, who, is, who is your favorite Harry Potter character? <laughs> Uh, okay, so does it have to be canon, or can it be, like, a uh, fan? Like, fan fiction? Um, if it's fanfic, you're gonna have to explain it. Mm -hmm. Um, shoot, okay, uh... Which is totally fine, I just, I won't know, and... I do really enjoy McGonagall. Um, she's, like, the one sane woman in all of Hogwarts. Um, but... I would say my favorite Harry Potter fan fiction is one called Harry Potter and the Methods of Rationality. And it's a really long one and it's a really slow burn, but there are a lot of really, like, it really drew me in. And I really, I really enjoyed how they redeemed Draco in that one. And also oh. there were a lot of really fun, like, references and moments that, like, as a 90s kid, like, and a 90s kid who was a nerd and, uh, you know, like, in the talented and gifted program, I'm not not bragging. It was a horrible experience. But I was in talented. I was in tag too, and it was horrible. <laughs> We're all yeah. damaged and on drugs now, and it's okay. It's so, fine. Like, um, just, but like, like give you lunch Ender's break. Game. Just take text. Like, there's Ender's <laughs> Game references in this book, and so I, I feel like oh. Harry Potter and the Methods of Rationality. Um, that version of Quirrell slash Voldemort is my favorite character. Oh. It's like Voldemort if he was actually smart. He's still misguided. Oh, he's still yes. evil, but he's actually smart, and it is so much better than canon right. Voldemort. Um, I just learned an interesting fact. It's totally kind of off topic, but not. Did you know that the the Elder Wand, Voldemort's version of it in the movies, had a hook on it that would hook to his ring finger underneath? That's how he was able to hold it so delicately, and it would always stay in his hand. I did. That's awesome. Know that. Movie magic. Yeah. That was That's his idea right. because yeah. he wanted it to be he wanted the character to be very serpent like and very smooth and graceful. That so like that's why the wand just stays in his hand. Props to Ralph Fiennes. Oh. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty then, freaking cool. And then he's in Red Dragon. Have you seen Red Dragon? I'm assuming not if you haven't seen um the uh 
Silence of the Lambs, Nora. Red Dragon? No, not familiar. Red Dragon is um, Voldemort as a serial sort of kill. He's a he's, oh, same he's, actor. You mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Same actor. So I was like, uh, somebody did fan up. fiction this before it existed. No, no, <laughs> that's a real one, and you get to see his butt, which isn't that bad. Oh, he's amazing in that movie. So yeah, hot. Oh. Full, full dragon tattoo down. Very. And then, very yeah. as hell. But oh hot. no, it's terrifying. Yeah. <sighs> Um, and Budapest Hotel. I just really love him. Like, he's done yeah. so many amazing movies. But yes. I'll have to, I'll have to check that out. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Super Mario Brothers or The Legend of Zelda? Oh, okay, I so just... I was raised Double on Super this... Mario Brothers, and I didn't really play Legend of Zelda until, like, 2008 when I, or 2009 when I was staying with a friend who had a Wii, and I was able to play it on her equipment. Mm -hmm. Um, so I didn't grow up with Legend of Zelda, but my grandpa had an NES in his basement and, uh, he was deaf and liked to chat with my mom and whoever was over the adults, right? So all the kids would just go pile down in the basement and like motor around his, well, not motor, but like ride around his basement on, on like kid sized tractors that oh, he had. I'm yeah. getting like um, a Shriners vibe out of it. it like, uh, <laughs> totally. <laughs> It, is. <laughs> it was more like it was more like a uh, motor route yeah you know like you know like a little bit of like crashing and like furniture destruction every now and then sure, and, sure, sure. you know yeah. uh but he had an nes and it had like four or five games that were good it had like pictionary it had um like a 3d pac-man called pac-mania um, that Nintendo hasn't released re-released on its street <sighs> service yet and I really want them to um but it also had, uh, he also had, um, like, a three-pack of, like, the first three Super Mario Brothers games. So, oh, yes. like, that's my childhood, is 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 those three uh, Super Mario Brothers games. And, like, Super Mario Brothers Was that All-Stars? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think mm -hmm. it was All-Stars. Mm -hmm. um, no, actually, I think we might have actually had, like, one of, like, the original game and then the Lost World levels. And then, like, a different cartridge for two and three. Oh, gotcha. I don't you. think yeah. it was All Stars. Because All Stars actually All -Stars didn't come until Super. super. Yeah. 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 Yep, yep. Yeah. Um, ah. And I just remember, like, picking Peach and, like, Super Mario Bros. 2. And, like, all of that old, like, like music that would be considered chiptunes now is just, like, seared into my brain. And I'll just, like, oh, yes. find myself whistling, you know, the tunes sometimes. And the sound that the, um, the, the egg spitter thing yeah. makes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, wow. 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 Yeah. Yeah. It's like in there. That's, you know, from mm -hmm. two is definitely like, wow. And yeah. Then, like, and then, I, I know like all the cheats for like the first four levels of like Super Mario Brothers 3. So oh, yeah. like I know how to get the, the warp whistle from the first castle and like, but like that's as far as we ever got because you, you didn't have, well, you weren't able to save the, your state and like, so you had to actually be good at the game instead of just like muddling through it. Well, and so when I went back years later. Understand. Uh, I mean, a little bit, but yeah. I did not. They're I, like, turn off the game right now. Turn it off. It's dinner time. So the, the, <laughs> NES, the NES was was at our house because huh. I think we got it at Christmas for a couple months. And it, we actually had the track and field game with like that, that pad. Yeah, that too. <laughs> yes, yes, I loved it. We and we had and Duck Hunt and, and the Duck Hunt gun. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. Uh-huh. And those were amazing. Dog. Yep. I love I, that, Matt. I love that dog. I've never um, wanted to shoot an animal. Ever, but that dog, I was real soccer. I, I yeah. was pretty good at duck hunt. Not going to lie. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, but yeah, like it was at our house for about three months, if I'm remembering correctly. And then my parents were like, no, this has to go. There are too many fights over it. Oh my Either gosh. that or it broke. I don't remember which. But I think like or the NES broke. broke. And then grandpa mm -hmm. mysteriously had one after that weird Who knows? that is I, bizarre you know, i might have to ask my mom about what happened to that if she remembers bt does moms do you, you should do that <laughs> the other day, mom do you remember when my childhood was ruined and the nes disappeared <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, if it did disappear, it was for the purpose of peace in the household and, uh, you know, like letting dad to watch his NASCAR races because that was there the most go. important thing. Some very terrible <laughs> things have been perpetrated in the name of peace and NASCAR. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> There's a can. Several horrible versions of the national anthem, for one. I mean, <laughs> to start, okay. Um, let's see. 
Would you trade in your... Do you have a pet right now? Not right now. But I... I, I, I mean, I guess I could sit in there my mom's cat. Like, also a little bit my cat. Okay, well, so your mom's cat, even though we've already talked about your mom having, you know, gotten rid of your NES. So now maybe there's a vendetta. I don't know. That's great. And okay. I don't have a vendetta. Hi, mom. Um, she's, I can guarantee you she's not watching, but she's great. I, I figured out. Fair enough. Okay. I mean, maybe I'll show her the video later. There you go. We said hi. <laughs> um, thanks for creating a wonderful human. Yes. <laughs> Kudos to you. Bravo. 100%. Bravo. So we'll just, I'll just. So would you trade in your pet for a million dollars if you had one? Or your mom's? Oh. Mm. Or someone else's pet if you want to get horrible about it. Oh, yeah. well, okay, so like that dude that stole Gaga's pugs. <laughs> yeah, uh, that douche. I, to be honest, there's a lot I could do with that million dollars. And if Izzy was my cat, uh, yes, yes, I would. I love, I love him. He's a good cat. He's a stray and an alley cat and a fighter who kind of adopted our family. And just stuck around and outlived the other two cats my parents had. And now he runs the house. And he loves it that way. And he's great. And I always take pictures of him in incredibly awkward positions. Where he's bent over licking his balls. Sure, sure. But, you know, and I, lo I love fiddle. him. Playing but I would say a million dollars. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, that's, that's fair. This is, yeah. <laughs> I would trade in my mom's cat, too, for a million dollars. <laughs> Does your mom have a cat right now? It died a few months ago. I was say, traded I in a new cat because I don't remember having any more cats. No, however, she's done with them. However, uh, my mom's one of my mom's cats that died recently. Jones was my cat, and he he slept with me his first night in the house, and like curled up next to my neck and, as a kitten, and I was his person. And if it came to Jones. I would be very, very, very incredibly sad, but I think I'd still make the trade. That's fair. A million dollars is a lot just... of damn money. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay, so for me, it would be like, all right, so I'm going to think this person has a million dollars to give me for this cat. So I'm going to assume that the cat would be well taken care of. However, if they're like, well, here's a million dollars, I just want to, like, mercilessly torture and kill your cat. I couldn't do it. Yeah, that no, would be a big Yeah. Cat. Yeah, there's a so... the line. I would just take the million dollars and go steal the cat. Maybe they think it just ran away. Yeah. Whoopsie. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Wow. Not my fault. The cat wanted to come home. Probably tried to get home. Yeah. Got lost. Exactly. There's a song about how cats come back the very next day, even though you <laughs> think right. they're I re-listened to that song last week because I, I was trying to look up. Uh, I was trying to find the version of, of Black Socks that I remember from my childhood and then stumbled across Raffi along the way. Yeah. Um, But I was like listening. Yeah, like you do. You know, like random internet rabbit holes. Yeah. And I was listening to The Cat Came Back, and I'm like, wait, wait, this is really disturbing. This is a kid's song? They're singing, the kids are singing along with this really, like, okay, okay, I guess. I guess we're just going to sing about, like, I don't even remember, like, the cat getting murdered. Yeah, like, there's the a lot. Oh, cheating on his, in... his lady cat with another cat. Like, was that part of it? So this is why I try really hard to give boomers, like, some grace. Yeah. Um, you know? Because they grew up with that shit. I mean, we did yeah. lately, but, like, there was some other things saying, like, oh, you know what? We, 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 we're the generation of starting to learn. You know, maybe this is problematic. You know, like, right. they didn't have any of that. They're right. just like, oh, fucked up shit. Yay! And then why am I so fucked up? Oh. Isn't to be Farrah fair. Jaka about a bird that he's plucking to death, too? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, Marela Tet pulled the feathers from the head. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Alouette Chanté, Alouette, Alouette Chanté, Boomeré. Yep. Oh my God. <laughs> did you take French in school, Shannon? Okay, I did. I don't remember it at all, but I can sing Frère Jacques. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> all I remember is Quelle est la date aujourd'hui? Uh, uh, yeah, that was It's what is the date today? And I remember, uh, uh, told you, no, uh, nope, can't even remember. I used to remember how to respond now. I can't. I remember, do you remember the Muffy commercials? Just we lost your fee. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, so Muffy was, this, I don't know if maybe it was, like, I, and he was on OPB, so it may have been, like, a Pacific Northwest. I don't know. But, like, it was, it was not teaching not French. Yeah, and so, like, it would be, like, bonjour, je suis la jeune fille, which I think is an um, AMA little girl, so I probably yeah. shouldn't say it in that voice. But, yeah, like, um, <laughs> that that I can remember. And I took four, two years in high school, two years in college, and still can't can't speak French, but... C'est aujourd'hui, Marc de That's how you could respond to it. But that's only like Marc something. Avec moi? Yeah. Would you like to sleep with me tonight? Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? Would be tonight. Ce soir. Yeah. Oh, yes. Voulez-vous coucher? Do you want to sleep with me avec... Or, you know, avec is with. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? With my polycule? With my poly... Voulez-vous <laughs> coucher avec polycule ce soir? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you gotta bring wow, it up wow, 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 wow. early and often. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, it, it's French, so they're lovers. It, it makes sense. Uh, um, I'm not actually in a polycule right now. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry for your lack of polycule. Eh. It's, a, it's a fun word. I've got, I've got really fun. close friends, and they are all I could ask for. Aww. There you go. Hi, Nora's close friends. Shout out to Cam Steer in the audience. I love Hi. you. Hi. All right, we're almost there. We are almost there. Almost. Have you ever LARPed or wanted to LARP or try LARP? We, I need to fix this question. Have you ever LARPed or wanted to try LARPing? I got invited to LARP in college, but I heard from other friends that there was drama going on in <clears> it. <throat> so I was like, mm, maybe drama. not. However, I was in a in a buffer group, a ah, foam yeah. sword fighting group, and yep. like technically, I guess you could call that LARPing. Like we never we never did like the magic that. stuff. I but, count like, it because that's the only thing I've ever done is buffer is was amp yeah. card, which is yes. I, yeah 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 yeah. We we um it was dagger here, but I think it used the other version's rules, so we just called it dagger here, and then we played with whoever was around. Yeah. Um. Very small college, small club, but it was a lot of fun. It is fun. Let's beat, beat each other over the head without hurting. Yeah, each other. yeah. My <laughs> favorite fighting fighting style was Florentine, with the two swords. Yeah. Ooh. So many good things carry... come in Florentine. Oh, in Florentine. Eggs, Florentine. Ooh, oh yes. <laughs> I, don't, um, I don't think I've two. heard of that. What? <gasps> what? Uh, what was your favorite childhood toy? Speaking of what? Oh, I thought you were starting oh the question. My God. <laughs> uh, favorite childhood toy. I don't think I had like a favorite like brand name toy. I did like the My Little Ponies, but a lot of my toys were okay. hand me downs because I am four out of five girls. Uh, well, assigned female at birth. I identify as wow. non-binary now, but there were a lot of hand-me-downs. So by the time I got the ponies, some of them were drawn on, some of them had had a haircut. Same with the Barbies, you know. <laughs> and then I turned around, and there was a Barbie that I put in electrical tape, and then my sister saw it and called it like bondage Barbie. Oh. So then it was like, all right, I'll lean into the weirdness, and I made it the light pillow in my closet for a couple years because why not? Why not? You know, my family so, comes in there, tries to find something in my closet. Oh, there's Bondage Barbie. Uh, <laughs> and then there was another Barbie head that I painted and then like put on a chain, um, like through her tangled hair, and then like had as like a voodoo head hanging off of like a black trench coat yes. that I owned. And ah. I wore that to school a few times, and people were like, You're weird. And I'm like, Yeah, I know. I made That's a penhead Barbie. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Hell, Hell but I don't know, like, my favorite, you know, do bikes count as a toy? Hell yeah. Yeah, my bike. Because I would just, like, tool all around the neighborhood and then eventually all around town. I would find cool trees to, 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 to climb up and then I'd use the bike seat as a way to get up to the lower branches. Um, I loved, I loved riding my bike. I still do. I, it's just, you know, like, the chain is slipping right now and I need to get it repaired, so. No. Get that chain fixed. That's right. Yeah, and the the first bike I learned to ride on had the the same cool like plastic um, ticky tacky things that I put on Avery's bike in the in the game. Yes, um, I love it. The little clacker thing. Yeah. And, um, uh, make sure yeah. I know what this called. Huh? 
Uh, well, McSherry called them something in the game, and I can't remember or who. Somebody called them something. They're clackers. Oh, okay. Okay. But clackers. I, that's what we called them. I don't know okay. if that's regional or whatever, but because you know, there's all sorts of things that people called it, especially yeah. when you're a kid and before the yeah. internet, when we could share uh -huh. information. You know, right? It's all right. Local. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then I would say my other favorite toys were often like empty cardboard boxes. Like my parents got oh, a new yeah. fridge and we finally had like a dedicated playroom in the basement of my mom's house. Uh, well, my parents' house. Uh, and we made like so many different forts with that thing, like blankets over the backs of the old couches that were down there. And like, you know, we had a little like lamp that you could like touch and change the brightness. Uh, Ooh, and then, fancy. you know, like, so we had a lamp inside the fort and, um, you know, and just like, ah, uh, just so many things you can do with your imagination and just like some, the most basic things. Yes. I don't want a refrigerator box. Uh, I know, right? We just got a new refrigerator not that long ago, but I don't think it came in a box. Oh. Which, I know. Was it last? I know. Uh, <laughs> uh, are you, a, are you a scared? Are you a scared of the dark? No. Uh, no. What? Who is your biggest celebrity crush? Oh, probably Matt Mercer. Aww, that's okay. so, cool. he's so cute. He's mm -hmm. so cute. And he's very smart. Um, uh, while I was watching Battlestar Galactica, I had a huge crush on the guy who played Gaius, Baltar. Oh, oh my yeah. god, yeah. I don't. <laughs> um, I think you can sense a theme like nerds with shoulder length brown hair. Got it. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, that, I mean those. That's those are all valid. good answers. Yeah. <laughs> all right. It is the last oh. question. <gasps> oh. Don't bite this off. I can't hear anything anymore. <laughs> uh, so, big question: Did you have fun on the show? Yes, one hundred percent. Yay! Although I really wanted to answer oh. the question about the superpowers. What's oh, your superpower. Like, oh. like, oh, if you could have any superpower, or yeah. no, like, pick between, like, what was it? it oh, was invisibility strength. or super strength? Yeah, yeah, but super strength. Okay, were there any yeah. other questions you wanted? Mm. Any other? Uh, uh, I mean, like, if I could pick any superpower, it'd probably be like shape shifting and like super speed. That was those are my usual answers. Yes, although well, teleportation both together would be great. Awesome. So, we do have that one. Yeah. That if there, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Is it shape yes. shifting? I hate shifting and super speed, yeah. Yeah, I would be like, like the Flash and Mystique had like a DC like, Marvel baby and like. <sighs> maybe not that That'd fast. That'd be crazy. Not that fast? You don't want to yeah, like. The, yeah, you, it gets weird when you go that fast. Like not, not so fast <laughs> you can manipulate time, but like. Fast, you know, that fast like enough to go, go fast. Silver. Yeah, go fast. Okay. Run, run fast, do the zoomies. <laughs> or yo -yo, like Yo-Yo from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I don't know. Seen that oh man that's oh yeah i watched like the first four seasons of that i think like I'm three sure she was four the... she was later I yeah yeah We're and i haven't way through it i've been watching it we've been watching it for like a i need decade. to catch up on that it's good um, yeah <laughs> is it worth is it worth watching like i got up to like the arc where they go to like that other world with like the which the... time <laughs> oh they do it multiple times shit i mean they go all over the fucking place like they're like we don't know what we're gonna do. Oh, we're gonna go into outer space. Okay, well we've already gone into outer space. Yeah, but this time we're gonna go into outer space in the future. Oh, okay, yeah. like let's go to outer space in the future. Cool, cool, cool. You know, like it was just... it was the one where they were stuck on like the desert planet with like the pilot who crashed. Oh, was that yeah, the one where uh Gemma, right? Yeah. The the yep. scientist -y lady. Yes. yes. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry, right. we did yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So it's the end of the show. It's 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 getting late. That was so much fun. Thank you, Dora, for blast. being uh, This <laughs> is the point where you can tell everybody where they can find your gorgeous face, and McSherry will post more of your links in the chat. Hit it. Okay. Uh. Well, uh, McSherry's been spamming them uh, all along the best. already, mm -hmm. but you can find me on Cornfields and Kobolds, which is a uh, quasi biweekly podcast, and the link is in the chat. Um, we also have a Discord that you are more than welcome to join. There is also a link to that. Um, and I, 
I aspire to be a streamer. I just need a little kick in the pants. Um, over at twitch.tv slash Zedadine. Um, and if you want to chat with me more, uh, go ahead and send me a friend request on Discord. Um, I like new friends. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, oh yeah, I am in Sparrows on Roll for Chaos on Fridays, except for the <laughs> off Friday, off weeks, when I'm at, um, yeah, I'm losing, I'm, I'm Misguided losing. Souls? Yes. Misguided Souls, a wonderful Monster Hearts adventure by the Oof. ever so amazing Anna Sanctum Cosplays, uh, which I'm super stoked about. I'm already planning out like the first like two advancements I'm going to get uh, for yes. my character, Avery the Unicorn. In Sparrows, I play Clarion Bell, your robot medic. Um, <laughs> Both fantastic. Yes. I play yes. different characters. Uh -huh. yeah, I like shaking it up. Yeah. Stay with the same thing. Get it. To be honest, I, with Avery, I'm channeling a lot of myself when I was in high school. Yeah, I I feel it. We probably could have hung out in high school, as a matter uh -huh. of fact. One hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> all, all of us. Um. Yeah. So, uh, go check Nora out and kick their butt and make them do all of the cool things. Um, and here on Roll for Chaos, we have on uh, Tuesdays here, uh, Roll Charisma. Mondays, we have the T&B Power Hour. Uh, I went backwards because, you know, obviously, I think we're the coolest of the pair between. Whoa, yeah. shots fired. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Shots uh, fired. I am not getting that. involved. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so and then Thursday we have Dreams of Silver and Stone, an Aether and Steamworks game. And then on Fridays we have Sparrows, which is also an Aether and Steamworks game. And then on our off week, as Nora stated, we have Misguided Souls, uh, where we all get to just be, except for Nora actually, are just the worst possible people ever. Um, Clarion, Clarion definitely did murder a guy to save her captain's life. So, like, don't call her, like, good by any oh, means. No, I meant Avery. Uh, oh, as a matter oh. of fact, Clarion creeps me the fuck out. I'm not gonna good. lie. Good. <laughs> yeah, she should. I, I love her, and um, it's she's perfectly played. It's just I'm like, ugh, like sometimes Captain, I would be more than happy to do like, no, Nora, <laughs> stop it. But keep going. I love it. Um, uh, anyway, yeah. So I think yes, Avery is trying it. very hard to be good. Yeah, a little bit of a, may not a get there. downer, a little bit, but it's fine. Look, look, do you think see how it plays out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do want to see how it plays out. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, Will Avery so, ever not be sad? <laughs> tune in and find out. Actually, uh, this week we have our regularly scheduled programming, and next week is the off week, so we won't have anything except for Thursday. We will have misguided souls, so you only have to wait just about a week and a half if you do want to find mm -hmm. out. Um, and then, of course, we have our backlog on YouTube, where you can check us out on all of the games that we've had on Roll for Chaos, um, and then one shots and all sorts of fun things. So, um, thank you, uh, Stephen. Do you have anything else you'd like to say? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> uh, I feel like. Do you feel like something? Like watching I don't have a weird feeling all of a sudden. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so we'll see you later. Thanks for joining and, and have a I'm good scared. night. I know. If you oh can hear me, God, make me a billionaire. Oh. <laughs> that too. Bye. Bye.